I'm gonna take your favorite flavor profiles from that charcuterie board that we all love and slap it onto a burger. I've got some really bold, funky cheese and some sweet and tangy jam, and we're gonna put it onto this rich, flavorful burger. You're gonna wanna turn your next dinner party into a bougie burger night. Let's start by getting our burgers formed. I will form four patties out of this one pound of ground beef. So start by separating your beef into four equal balls. Work each patty into an even thickness using your thumbs to create that nice edge. It's key to leave a slight indent in the center of your patty like this. This helps the burger cook evenly and prevents it from shrieking up. Nobody likes that. I like to use a hearty amount of crunchy sea salt and black pepper for my seasoning. Make sure that you season both sides well. And now these gorgeous patties are ready for some flame. Before we head to the grill, let's get our crisp red onions sliced and ready. And let me tell you, there is nothing like a freshly grilled red onion. The natural sugars and red onion help them caramelize beautifully on the grill with little effort. It's such a perfect flavor for this burger combo. And so enters our gorgeous brie cheese. Fantastic on a cracker or by itself, but amazing on a burger. All we need to do with this is slice it and melt it onto our sizzling burgers. Before our onions hit the grill, I drizzle on a little bit of oil just to help with sticking and season with a touch of salt and pepper. Let's head to the grill. Once everything hits the grill, this burger comes together really quickly. But I will say, try to keep your onions whole when they hit the flame. That way they grill up evenly and it's easier to plate your burgers with a whole onion like this. Place the seasoned patties down and leave them alone. Please don't start flipping them, let them char. That's where we're creating our flavor. From one grilling expert to another, put your spatula down and walk away, my friend. Oh man, look at those grill marks. The onions are caramelizing beautifully. These don't need much time at all. We just wanna take the bite off of them. Once your burgers are ready for flipping, flip them over and let's chop them with our brie cheese. And when you see the flames kissing your burgers like this, that is a great sign. You're creating some great flavor on these patties. So once you've placed the cheese on the burgers, all we're trying to do here is get your cheese to look just like this, nice and gooey. Then it's time to pull them. These onions cooked so quickly, they are perfect and ready to be pulled also. And if you don't already warm or toast your buns before serving, this is your PSA to start. I'm quickly throwing my buns down on this smoking hot grill to simply warm them through and create a nice toasted texture so it holds that fig jam really well. All of my components for this burger are ready. We've got our perfectly cooked patties with the melty brie on top. We've got our grilled onions, our fig jam. Let's assemble some burgers. Ah, fig jam, the most adored and recognized condiment on charcuterie boards, will now graduate to impressing all of us as a burger topping. Load these burgers up, do not be afraid of this jam. The extra step we took to toast our burger buns is helping here with holding all of that jam in place and not having it soften the bun. The umami in these flavors together is out of this world delicious. This burger is going to change how you view all burgers. And look at that. The beautiful bright color of the grilled onion on top of that gooey melted brie cheese. I am stoked for you to try these. Now these are some bougie burgers. Your friends are never going to forget this dinner party. Now I get to enjoy one of these. looks amazing. And I prefer the chili fig jam, and I'm gonna dive into that for my bite. The umami of this brie cheese with these onions on the savory burger, money. And that chili fig spread is my favorite with this burger. 
It's the ultimate sweet and savory experience. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time here in the test kitchen.